Mark. Yes. Uh, we have a guest. Yes. You are directly responsible for booking here, sir. Yes, absolutely. I'd like to introduce Elizabeth Chung. She's the executive director of the Asian American Center of Frederick. You know, May is AANHPI Heritage Month, Asian American, Native Hawaiian, Pacific Islander. And um, uh, Elizabeth uh, has been working uh, for 20 years, two decades, helping the community, everyone in the community. She is the most inclusive person I've ever met. There's a, there's a, a glowing uh, uh, endorsement, but this Saturday, uh, is uh, from noon to five is Asia on the Creek. Uh, it features food, entertainment, song, traditional dance, uh, dress, traditional dance, art. Um, I'm going to leave some things for Elizabeth to say, but uh, good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Elizabeth. Are you a twin by chance? <laughs> Not pretty. <laughs> you could have been but in the North when I graduated in class. But- a lot of good, you know, the people that think, you know, they like, like, you know, um, I mean, I, I heard about you and uh, Mark Tucker Grizzly and Mark. It, it's just really that uh, sense of, to, you know, um, support. I mean, sometimes you don't have to look alike, right? And then about logically, but then you also can be, you know, thinking alike. And that's important, you know, when you have a passion. And, and that's what Mark Mark and I, Mark and I can be a twin. Because... <laughs> you're the better looking twin, let me tell you. Okay, all right. And the creek you're referring to is that Carroll Creek. Carroll Creek uh, at the runs right through downtown Frederick. At the amphitheater there, uh, location uh, just adjacent to Market Street, and uh, you will not be disappointed. And uh, uh, Elizabeth can talk a little bit about the work that AACF does. Three sixty-five. This is one day. Uh, May 4th, but uh, the work that is accomplished at AACF um, all year round is just incredible. It was uh, it, it was mind-blowing to me to understand how much they do. And Elizabeth, it sounds like you are on a speakerphone. Is there a chance you could go straight into the uh, receiver and, and talk? Oh, absolutely. Can you hear me better? Yeah, that, that would be much better. Yes, thank you. A- excellent. Yes, thank you, to uh, Mark, for your comment. I-, I must say that actually... We have footprints, you know, in Virginia, West Virginia, southern part of Maryland, because of, you know, what we do. Uh, we have 60 languages in 25 25 countries. A lot of, you know, different services people would like to know or where to go, at, even at the state level, federal level. So we become kind of like a information hub, you know, giving out, you know, great, you know, um, uh, information on workforce, on health access, economic development, and so forth. So we're very much connected. I, I must say that I have my, you know, friends, you know, I'll come all the way to Frederick. This is where a couple of times a year they have a lot of great events. I mean, big, bigger event that they come and join us. During the pandemic, there were many reports of discrimination, and acts of violence against Asian people. We don't hear about that so much, especially with the Israeli-Hamas conflict right now. It seems to be going back and forth between uh, Hamas and, uh, and Jews right now in this country, but we don't hear much any longer about uh, violence on Asian mm. people in the country. Is that, has that subsided, do we, or do we just not hear about it as much because headlines have been uh, directed elsewhere? I think that this is, you know, um, understandably that it's still ha- we still have. But the important thing is really we need to have better understanding. I think that oftentimes it's just, you know, not, not knowing, you know, the, the country's background or the cultural background. And after all, we are all American. And that's the reason why, you know, festival like this is so important that to bring out the best and bring out, you know, the different cultures. And it's different. It's not bad. So I ho- we hope, you know, that this is the kind of activities that bring out a more positive relationship. Yes, at this time, you know, um, it, we, we know that, it's still out there, but we'll continue our effort to build better understandings, you know, amongst our folks. So um, we're happy to be doing that, you know, the cultural event that we have. Elizabeth, is this the first time you've held Asian on the on the creek? No, no, no. We have more than 15 years. So we're a very small organization in Frederick. And like I said, we have 60 languages representing 25 countries. It's not necessarily, you know, the Asian, South Asian, Middle Eastern. We also have German, we have French, we have Italian. Mm-hmm. And language is very important. And be able to communicate is very important. Uh, we do like medical interpretation. And believe it or not, you know, we have folks that come way you know, 
two, three generations of goats where I came from, came from Germany and so forth. When they get older, at the you know the, in the hospital, and all of a sudden they you know use their own you know the, the mother tongue so to speak. So that's, that's why communication is very important. We are happy that we provide those kind of services to the community. Now we have been doing this you know um, over 15 years, and because we are small and not necessarily like you know the, DCs or you know um, Montgomery counties and so forth. So we definitely you know do more effort to you know promote and to create a better understanding. You know that we are one of the fast you know um, the rate of increase you know in Frederick County for the you know APA com- you know the communities is is huge. Yeah, I, when I first came 30 years ago, maybe two three thousand. So right now there were about fifteen thousand. It's still a small town, you know, small population group. Yet we are very diverse and very rich, you know, in difference in the cultures. I'm also you see that when it comes to you know the creek, you know, from you know we have Japanese, Vietnamese, Bangladesh, the Polish, you know, um, Chinese and uh, Burmese. So quite a bit of you know the variety we're showing. It's just wonderful food, also. Yeah, that leads me to my question. Uh, the t- your title, your group, is uh, a Native American, Hawaiian, and Pacific Islands. But you do not mention the Japanese, the Chinese, the Europeans, and the like. How, how do you make that differentiation? Oh, no, because, you know, the APA, the Asian Pacific American, Pacific Islander is, you know, covering the, also the Pacific Rim. The Native American is also part of, you know, the APA's Native American one. So, you know, when you use the word AAPI, it's very, you know, dumb. Uh, it's understood, you know, just really across the whole, you know, the uh, Asia uh, continent. And then the Pacific Rim is like Palau, you know, the Samoa and Hawaii. Then, you know, also part of, you know, the the, the Pacific Islanders, you know, the uh, territorial. So uh, we're celebrating everyone, you know, the, in, in that particular month. And the, the, the Asian heritage, the APA heritage month really because, um, because of, 1869, right around there, is the connecting of the Continental Railroad, and we were the last stretch of it, and also, you know, the the work of you know Japanese, Chinese, you know, the laborer who built the railroad, you know, really created a lot of you know um, contribution for our country from east to west, right? So this uh, first is one day, then it's one week, then now it's a whole month of celebrations, you know, for that particular you know, community. Okay, uh, you've alluded to various uh, events, uh, but can you develop it? You'll have, uh, uh, I assume, cultural events uh, uh, by various individuals. You'll have food vendors. Just exactly what we have. Yes, you know. So, so we start out. Uh, oh, by the way, but also this time we also want to celebrate our AAPI veterans. So we mm-hmm. celebrate, honor, and appreciate them first. Then we also have a wonderful Chinese band in the plane. Then we also have, you know, uh, dancing and uh, drum. You know, the Japanese drum is is very, very popular. Yeah. And then Bollywood dance from India and Burmese dance, Indonesian music, Cambodian, um, Japanese, Hawaiian. So, so you, you almost like you, know, you stay here in our, you know, um, in our um, Mid Atlantic region without flying to Asia. Is that great? So you can get to see the performances, hear the music, taste the food. So. And I hope that everyone will come and join. It's a, it, it's just a great, you know, um, celebration uh, once a year for us. Yeah, about forty-five minutes from here, fifty minutes from here in uh, downtown Frederick. Oh, it's free too, you know, right? So yeah. no, free's the best price. Free is the best price. Yeah. Well, actually, um, yeah, last year we also well, when we have the Indonesian festival, all over. It's not just Virginia's area, Delaware, you know, Pennsylvania. Um, it is just a well kept secret, you know, for our Frederick counties, for our Frederick residents that um lovely. So we have a very, you know, um wonderful, you know, um connection. Um because of fact we do provide citizenship class, you know, really helping them to you know become citizens, to learn civic lessons, to have ESL classes. So pretty well known we because the classes are free, we're also helping them to the process the N four hundred, you know, the application all those services we provide are free. Healthcare assets, insurance for those who definitely cannot get insurance. We have folks from, you know, just days from your county come over to our place, and they know that. So that's why we're very happy with those connections and the footprint that we have, you know, John, in your communities as well. So we have folks coming from, you know, John, 
really all over, you know, to this um, one-day event. In both Europe and also Southeast Asia, uh, a big part of the cultural activities, at least with our forefathers, were puppets. Uh, either the puppets that we see with Punch and Judy or the water puppet show in Southeast Asia. Uh, oh, yes. Do we have any yes. puppet shows at all? Uh, not this year, but we did. We have actually uh, is, um, a um, artist, and she performed for the, for the royal you know, family, and then she's from Burma. But uh, from time to time, we're able to get her, but not this year. Yeah. It's really a very intricate, right? So, so, so some of them like a half the life size, and then it was beautifully, you know, performed in the dance, you know, choreo, um, just you know, kind of coordinated with the music. Um, it's it's not it's not simple task, but it's beautiful artwork. But definitely, we can bring them back to it later. But it is a we have the Japanese the, the taikong drum is so powerful. You know, it's just really, you know, pounds on your heart, get the beat, and hear, you know, down the energy. Uh, it's wonderful. So, you know, um, it is free, and it is really a, um, like for us, it is a, a blessing we always share. You know, there's a lot of resources as an agency to all the communities. Uh, we felt that it's a great way to build friendship, to create understanding, you know, to really, you know, uh, become stronger together. Uh, Mark, any final questions for Elizabeth? Well, no, I just will say that, you know, in a, a, you were mentioned about you know, Asian hate, uh, that was mentioned earlier, mm-hmm. and just understanding different cultures, uh, the, the, the different foods, appreciating, you know, we're, we're all the same, we just come from different neighborhoods, but we can all get together and enjoy the food, the entertainment, the, the singing, the, the music, and, and everything that uh, that the Asia on the Creek brings. So it runs from noon to five. Uh, and uh, of course, as I alluded to, and Elizabeth talked about as well, um, Asia on the Creek is a one day event, but the work of AACF is year round and in helping individuals become US citizens, uh, better English skills, uh, workforce development, uh, it's all uh, provided by AACF. Yeah, Mark, you, you mentioned something that I think is very true. Uh, food and cultural activities are a great equalizer mm-hmm. among ver- us uh, various groups. When, when yeah. you sit down and have enjoy some food together and and have a little conversation. And listen to the, uh, cultural music. Listen yeah. to the music, relax there in the music. Uh, it, suddenly we don't seem so different. You're exactly right, Kevin. Yeah. Elizabeth, yeah, thank that's you. That's the reason why. Uh, thank you. Uh, people can say, "Oh, wow! I can use spaghetti to cook this way, <laughs> like a stir fry." Hello, <laughs> mean. So you, you can see that we're really not that much different. You know, after all, it's to, you know the food, the basic group, right? So, but we can do it in different way and a different flavors and different you know damn pleasure. So it's great. Come and join us. Elizabeth, thank you very much for your time this morning. We very much appreciate it. You're welcome. Uh, thank you for asking and inviting me to be here. I wish so, you great weather this okay. weekend on yes, Carroll Creek. Hope so. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. Thank too, you. See you in a bit. For your support. Thank okay. You. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.